Hey everybody, Michael Batiste from the Elk Calling Academy. Welcome back to Wapiti Wednesday Q&A. So <clears throat> tonight we're going to kind of answer two questions again, just because they kind of uh, tie in pretty close to each other. Um, they both come from our YouTube channel and they both come from Ryan Clark. And the first one is, what's the difference between a locate bugle and a challenge bugle? So Ryan, basically a locate bugle is, is exactly that. It's, it's intended to locate. Bulls do it to locate other elk. Best way to put it, it's, it's <clears throat> you know, just like in the human language of, of yelling, hey, uh, you know, to see if anybody's around or this or that. It's it's a very relaxed bugle. It doesn't get real high. Um, doesn't really have any big finish. But but basically, this this is a locate bugle. <coughs> There's no aggression to it. It's not an aggressive sound at all. Like I said, it's a very relaxed call. Now, a challenge, on the other hand. The challenge bugle is filled with a lot of emotion, a lot of aggression. Uh, you can definitely tell it's a challenge bugle because it will have a lot of volume. It will be very high pitched. And when it finishes, it really drops off into a, a heavy, heavy finish. So challenge bugle. <laughs> now, sometimes if they're really worked up, on that uh, challenge, <clears throat> excuse me, they can also lip ball during that. <clears throat> and like I said, fall off in a, in a real, real heavy finish. So, so that's your differences between a locate bugle and a challenge bugle. Uh, location bugle, nice and relaxed with the purposes of just opening the lines of communication saying, hey, where's everybody at? So uh, challenge bugle, a lot of aggression, uh, very, very high pitched, falls off heavy. And like I said, sometimes they will lip ball during that. So, okay, so Ryan, there's your first question. Second question is when to use different bugles? That one's a little tougher to answer because it really depends on the responses that you're getting from the bull that you're working. So you, you really want to match that bull's intensity, but you can do things to kind of test where he's at. So say if you guys are just kind of doing some uh, location bugles back and forth, and he starts giving you some location bugles that have just a little bit of aggressive nature to them at the end, you know, you might hit him with a display bugle just to kind of test him where he's at, you know, and see see kind of what his mindset is and get him to elevate his aggression level a little bit. The thing with the, the challenge bugle, um, I typically don't challenge first. So, you know, my approach is to work that bull and raise his aggression level and get him to the point that he's really fired up he's looking for a fight and he challenges. And once I get him to the point that he challenges, then I can take the gloves off and I can be as aggressive as I want with, um, you know, my bugling. So uh, that's, that's my personal approach. Um, I do know there's a lot of other individuals out there that they like to jump into the challenge early and they've had success with that. So it's, it's kind of to each his own, but based on my experience, um, if have challenged a bull too early, um, could end up losing that bull where I found that kind of, kind of by working them a little bit and slowly bringing that aggression level up. And then once he gets aggressive and he challenges, and then basically I just start, you know, getting him aggressive back. Um, it, it just seems I've gotten a lot more call-ins over the years of hunting with, with that approach. So, all right, Ryan, I hope that answers both of your questions. Thank you for seeing both of those. So, okay, guys, what do we have coming up? Uh, Friday's video is the full review of the Rip It lineup from Native by Carlton. So that will go live Friday um, on here about six o'clock. A uh, couple of other, other things. You guys have a couple of more days to get into uh, the giveaway that we have running. That's going to end at about four o'clock Mountain Standard Time on Friday. Uh, we're giving away a five pack of Native by Carlton Reed. So if you aren't 
entered in that yet, be sure you go over to the Elk Calling Academy YouTube page, click on videos and find the, uh, the native giveaway video and be sure to get in on that. So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in tonight. If you haven't submitted questions, feel free in the comments down below this video to uh, go ahead and submit your questions and, and we'll answer those on an upcoming episode. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in. We really, really appreciate the support. And as always, keep calling, keep practicing, but most importantly, have fun with it. All right, guys. We'll see you next week on the next episode of Wapiti Wednesday Q&A brought to you by Elk Calling Academy. Have a great night, everybody.